majestic creatures. And when you can watch them in their native habitat and their ability to move through that terrain is impressive. John Muir certainly referred to Sierra Bighorn as the bravest mountaineer. And I think that's an apt description of Bighorn, because if you've ever seen the kind of terrain that they're able to move in, and they move in it with such comfort and agility. They live on mountaintops. They'll sit out thunderstorms on a ridgetop like it's no big deal. They are wild, wild creatures, and they persist in the most rugged environment. They belong in the cliffs. They live in the cliffs, so that they should be in Yosemite. Well, with the arrival of Western settlers, domestic sheep came along with them. And domestic sheep carry diseases that can decimate bighorn populations. Bighorn sheep have no immunity to these pathogens. When they're exposed to it, you can lose entire herds. You know, there were probably millions of domestic sheep grazed throughout the Sierras starting in the late 1800s. By 1995, there were only about 100 bighorn sheep left in the Sierra. And Sierra Nevada bighorn sheep are a unique subspecies of bighorn sheep. They're the rarest mountain sheep in North America. This distinct subspecies is endangered because of its extremely low numbers and vulnerability to disease. So in order to recover the population in Yosemite, we really needed another herd in the center of Yosemite's wilderness. So it was buffered by threat from disease with domestic sheep. When you look at a lot of endangered species recovery efforts throughout the US, they are bleak. You know, they are on the decline. There's little hope for them to recover. And in many cases, that's because the habitat's lost. And without the habitat, you can't recover a species. And what's unique about this situation is that the habitat is still there. And a lot of it's wilderness, a lot of it's protected. We think that Yosemite offers some of the best summer habitat available in the Sierra. The Cathedral Range has a lot of high elevation alpine meadows that we think will be really important sources of nutrition for bighorn. So in order to give Sierra bighorn the best chance of persisting, we really need them to have a larger geographic range. And the fastest way to make that happen is to move them. Well, today we're in Yosemite National Park. We're in the upper Merced watershed and Right behind me are two metal crates, and inside the crates are Sierra Nevada bighorn sheep. These bighorn sheep have had quite a day today. This morning, they were down south in Sequoia National Park in the Mount Langley area. That herd had enough females to where we could remove these sheep from that herd and now reintroduce them back into Yosemite. It'll be the first time in over 100 years that we've had a bighorn sheep herd inhabit this area. Ready? One, two, It's always difficult to know, OK, is it OK to be excited yet? Because we open the boxes and turn the use out, and it couldn't have gone more smoothly. But I'm thinking, well, we don't have any ramps here yet. So you know, we need to get the ramps. So it was a time to celebrate, but we knew that we couldn't really celebrate until we got the rams in. 
For these reintroductions where we're moving animals into historic habitat, we capture bighorn sheep using a helicopter and the net gun. We have the helicopter fly into an area and essentially try to find animals. And then they have to determine whether they think they can catch those animals. And with bighorn sheep, that's particularly challenging because they're in such steep, rugged terrain. They pursue a group of sheep and wait until they have a safe shot in safe terrain. And from the helicopter, they deploy a net from a net gun, which captures a bighorn sheep. Then the helicopter is able to immediately lower down right over the animal. One of the crew members jumps out on the animal. They put a blindfold and hobbles on the animal and then put them in a transport bag where the sheep are flown into a base camp for processing. The recovery effort has only been able to be successful by this huge collaborative effort with the National Park Service at Yosemite and Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks, Inyo National Forest, Humboldt Toyabe National Forest, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, my department, California Department of Fish and Wildlife, I think everybody believes in this project. The Yosemite Conservancy, the Sierra Nevada Bighorn Sheep Foundation, and the National Wild Sheep Foundation have all supported this project. I've seen us go from really being close to the verge of extinction, you know, where we were seriously talking about pulling animals out of the wild and starting a captive breeding effort. Now we're up to around 600 animals. say something about humans. We're capable of making mistakes, but we're also capable of correcting those mistakes. You know, it takes a lot of hard work, but it's the right thing to bring this animal back to its rightful place. People are going to be able to see bighorn sheep in Yosemite. Folks go out hiking in the Cathedral Range, and they really might see bighorn sheep, especially as the population grows. And I think that'll add a totally different experience for the visitor to the park.